the puppy in here. I get the puppy. You need a puppy. You need a puppy. Boop. And I put her on her back. Because this is the most vulnerable position for puppies. And then I start examining in between her toes. And if she nibbles on me, I go, ow! She lets me tell her she's a good girl. So I do this 15 minutes a day. 16 minutes? 15 minutes. 15 minutes. I do it as well. And I always check out their mouths because I want them to be used to me taking things out of their mouths and everything. And you might be brushing your dog's teeth too. Okay. It's a, I, I'm really bad at it, but it's a really good thing to do for your dog. And I do the I do the ears because you're probably cleaning your ears. She seems to like that one. So I like put my finger right in their ear canal. I pretend my like, like clothes in their chair just to keep the uh, tugging to a minimum. Do you have a falsetto, Bob? Uh, That's no, not I a falsetto. I, I can find one, I guess. So you want to also do like enjoyable things first. So when she relaxes, I'll, ow! I'll bite, I'll bite her. I'll, I'll pet her tummy, yeah. right? Ow! So if she gets a little excited, I'll just hold her for a little bit. And if you're really doing this well, she'll, she'll be asleep, asleep shortly. I had her nice and quiet before this lesson, so she's pretty wide awake right now. But she normally falls asleep. Usually, yeah, when I pick her up, up, I play, play, just pick her up, yep. fall asleep. Yep. And then both times she was asleep in the like, puppy, other puppy game, and uh, that was on. She yeah, curls up at my feet, she falls asleep on my feet. Put it down and she'll go right back like an energizer bunny. That's right. Yeah. Just gonna put it down with it gone. Well, just remember this is an exercise for a purpose, so she gets used to being handled and groomed <coughs> and seeing her. Right. So coming. she does that, I just hold her right in front. <coughs> She's wired. She didn't have any puppy friends to play with today. I just wait till she settles down and then I say, Good boy! Looks like a dad's a good boy. Good boy for you. This is why we do that to uh, prevent that. So, on her nails, too, what you can do is just squeeze the ends of them. So, I'm getting her ready for, to get her nails clipped. Okay. I haven't done it yet, but I've just been getting her ready so that she's used to the sensation. So I'll separate each nail, just like we're going to do when we clip them. I often you clip them? I clip, I try to clip my dogs once a week. Okay, no often, okay. But when you get started, you only have to do like one claw at a time. So if, if when I start, I find out she's really um, scared of it, I'll just do one, one claw, maybe two claws at a time. And I'll do one every day. Until she gets yeah, used to it. Until she gets used to it. She could be fine with it though, we don't know yet. Nope. It's, I know, she, she doesn't seem to react when I pinch the end of her nails. She doesn't seem to be that worried about it, so that's a good sign. Looks like she's getting ready to doze off. Getting up. ready to pick on your dog. Yeah. We're going to have to hand you some more. I to wake you up for Bob. Yeah, yeah. This is how you want her to look towards the end. You can have the comfortable chair for this. I suggest you have a comfortable chair when you're doing this. Oh, I have to do fine. I don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> he slept on me a few times. You can have our recliner too. Yeah. <laughs>
Let me see if they keep jumping. You see this paw? Hmm? I see this paw? Oh. <laughs> I'm <Under. laughs> <laughs> Well, there's actually an uh, um, exercise that I don't do much with dogs, but um, it's called Name and Explain. I haven't really um, tested it too much, but if you name your dogs, Things that you're going to catch, you're yep. supposed to have them be able to be informed about that and then not worry about it so much. Well, she doesn't seem to be bothered by the gray ears. Look at the ears. She seemed to like that one. I'm getting creepy. <laughs> That'd be a good way to hit my fire dog. Huh. You like the ears. Like the cats, cats like the ears. Right here. Right here. I don't really do the name and explain, but I do like sing my dog's little. Songs. Songs. Well, I do this, which, which essentially ends up being the same thing because I'm just singing about their noses and their toes. Are you singing the song? I'm not singing the song right now. I have a horrible singing voice. I'm sure it could be found somewhere out there though. Well, from the time she was born, she always liked to be cuddled, so that's what the breeder said. Yeah. So she doesn't mind this at all. What toe work, Paul? Hmm? What toe work? Oh, I did the toes. I did the toe work. Oh, yeah. To the inside of the mouth, too. Yeah, but oh. even though they like to be covered, this is a very good rocks special already. Uh, yeah. rocks. I did the rocks for her. No problem. For all this time, she's. She she likes to pick stuff off the ground. Yeah, so I had to take a couple rocks out of the yeah. mouth. Was the problem. She. Uh, you just want to keep her in the habit at this point. Because if you neglect something like that, it could become a problem later on. Yeah. This is good to do once a day. So, like, usually I'm doing this with my person when I'm watching TV or, you know. Yeah, her downtime when she's in it. It's been seven years since we've had a puppy, but that's <laughs> okay. Been that long. We have a lot of puppies, just not our own. They're all old. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, so we have a lot of other people's puppies. Right. All our dogs are old right now. Except for Shane is not really old. She's seven. She's middle aged. Middle aged. Okay. There she goes. That's good though. That's exactly how you want her to feel. So when she goes to the vet, she want her to she won't be like that, but you want her to be nice and calm. So what we're doing is conditioning her to being calm when she's being handled. And the reason we have them on their back is because when they're on their back, that's when they feel the most Vulnerable. You know, their belly's exposed, the belly's a, you know, huge attack point. <laughs> she started to scratch her shoulder. Oh yeah, that's the that's spot. This spot. So we have a the traveling vet, I don't even remember her name now. I remember now when she comes to the vet. Yeah, so she comes, she has a remote home. Yeah. She does did she do any surgery or anything? She does right now. In the driveway, and then it comes out. How we had three cats. I don't remember how. Because we had to keep them in originally. And Who's, they, uh, where did he. Uh, hmm? Where did Feetman come He ended up back. Uh, he reopened. He went to the University of New England and then came back and then reopened. And then um, we had cavern seizures. We had two cavern seizures and brothers, and one died young. I think four or five, five years old. You know, one twenty-three. So go figure. Twenty-three and had seizures. Um, so anyway, we found her and made it easier because they had seizure and died. With the vet, and she come and see three at a time, and great, no problem at all. So we're gonna use her for her. Yeah. Where, where is she based out of? Uh, she is. Is it Dover or Durham or? She's very local. Sea Coast Vet, I think it's called. So anytime you have an appointment, she comes right to the she house. Comes right to the house. 
It's very and convenient then right very now. convenient. You know, when you have multiple, because you have multiple pets. Yeah. So we had three cats at one point, all, you know, to do all three at once. And then again, if they had any type of surgery. Um, How much is the appointment just to have it come, do you know? Um, I think it's 60 for the, I think it's 60 to come. And just for the visit. Just for the visit. And then, and then the rest each one. Like that. Yeah. Hmm. That's reasonable. Yeah. I can get you as any plan. She's gonna come in November and see Pearl just to, yeah. just to check. We love him. on our back and he's right down the street. Ooh, I don't mind going to that uh, York Animal Hospital, right yeah. number one. On who one can we go? Yeah, to? it's a new, uh, there was another up there and he took over the practice, I want to say two or three years ago. I'll, I'll send, send you her, her name, I can't remember her name right now, but uh, more we'll talked to her the other day and she said she'd come in November and, and see Pearl November. Her seems very healthy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so well, I guess Katie too, maybe anyway. So we're second round of shots and all that stuff. Get shots and then get ready to be spaded probably in the winter sometime, right? Maybe down the line of the winter. Talk you? to your vet about that because sometimes the hormones you want to stay in the year. Yeah. Because they're still growing. You know, if you spay them. Too early, they won't yeah. necessarily could, grow right. They could get some dysplasia or some other problems related to their growth plates. Yeah, she'll tell us one. Yeah. This was, uh, again, we, we got her shots and then let her come in and see what she wants to do for fun. And she happens to be really careful when she's here for all of them. So we should have on the dog? Hmm? Yes, in a few minutes, Rob. Oh, sorry. But you think Pearlie's all done just because she's all well, she's sleeping. Well, that's good. That's how you want her to be for the last few minutes of uh, the exam. So sit on the dot is the one she usually, she can sometimes pee on me if I don't plan, not on me, near me, if I don't plan it right. She pees in the sit on the dot? She can. Pearlie. 